Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am making a Harlequin inspired book cover. So to start this project, well, we need a book. So I started there. <laughs> um, I thought I'd order this book in black, but it turns out that uh, upon closer inspection through my orders, I had ordered it in blue. So I was slightly disappointed with that, but never mind, it's blue, we'll get over it. And well, the other thing that you need is some polymer clay. That's literally it, nice and easy project today. <laughs> Once you have magically slammed your polymer clay into your desk and have made a perfectly flat sheet like I did, um, just trim your clay down to like the size of your book. I made mine slightly smaller than the book cover, um, only because I wanted it to kind of have like a wood effect later. Um, and then, yeah, I just got away with some of the details a little bit too early, actually, to be quite honest. What I should have done is texturized the flat bit first. But of course, I like to make things hard for myself, so I didn't. I started moving on to details until a little bit later on, and then I realised that I should really get that bit done first. <laughs> so this is actually a Christmas present for a friend of mine um, named Sarah. Uh, she is, how would I put it? She's my daughter's friend's mum. <laughs> Um, see her quite often down at the school on like school pick up and drop off um, she's an absolutely lovely lady and she sent home all these goodies for my family for Christmas and I had no idea how to pay her back so this is it I know she liked Harlequin so went with this hopefully she enjoys it so you know Merry Christmas to you Sarah and your lovely little family and thank you very very much for the goodies I can't believe you went that far though <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is the best I could do. I hope you love it. So this is the bit where I realised that I really, really need to put like um, the wood texture onto the slab of polymer clay. Um, I do end up hiding most of the details, all these lovely details that I'm putting in now, but that really doesn't matter because, you know, I know they're there. And now you know that they're there because like you're seeing me do it. So <laughs> they're there, even if you can't see them. <laughs> Another round won't save you now. This is actually my third attempt at doing roses. Um, I'd gone through like several different styles. I tried a little bit of realism, but they kind of came out too far from the book cover. Um, then I tried something else. I have no idea what I tried for the second attempt. It just went completely wrong. Um, and then I decided upon like the tattoo style rose. I don't think I quite got it, but uh, you know, it still looks like a rose. <laughs> so didn't fail either it's just not quite how I pictured it in my head but that's okay because it still worked out in the end sometimes you just have to accept that what you want to make in your head is better than what you can actually make <laughs>
just a little tip if you don't want like really flat edges on like your petals then just pinch the edges of the uh, petal I don't know if that makes sense it does in my head yeah just pinch like the sides to make it slightly thinner but keep like the thickness of your clay at the back where you want to do your blending um, that seems to give a nicer edge on your flower I sculpted the second rows off camera because I figured you didn't need to see like the same process twice. <laughs> um, if you do need to see the same process twice, then you know just rewind this video back and watch that one again <laughs> because uh, it's exactly the same. Um, so yeah, I just popped a few vines on there as well just for detail purposes. Um, then I went on to make the banner for the middle of the heart um, with the obligatory, you know, harlequin motto really isn't it you see the rotten tattoo everywhere so you know it just made sense to put that as a centerpiece i did make this banner way too long i didn't accept that to begin with and tried to fit it all on there and i spent quite a long time manipulating that until i finally figured all i gotta do is cut it down <laughs> I'm sculpting Harlequin's baseball bat. I did really, really want to put like her giant mallet on the book cover as well, but I just, there just wasn't enough space. I think I'd taken up way too much space with my roses. But uh, yeah, so I just went with the baseball bat. Would really have loved to have done that hammer though. Maybe in another project, I'll find a reason to put Harlequin's hammer somewhere. <laughs> I added in a few more little details and then I popped this entire book actually into the oven. Now I kind of wish that I hadn't put the whole book in. Ordinarily when I've put a book in before, the black ones that I normally buy, um, nothing's happened to the book but on this occasion I did get like a slight warp from the book. It's probably because it's not my usual one. <laughs> I should have ordered the black. Uh, yeah but it it's not that bad that it you know was horrendously noticeable it's just something that I noticed um, and then it was on to painting I'm using my usual Arteza paints um, I don't think I use any other types of paints apart from my black which is Dala Rowney oh, oh, yep this <laughs> put it up on the screen for you I'm terrible at pronouncing things um, so yeah just went on to my painting I'm literally just started painting brown because that's what wood is <laughs> and then dry brushing a lighter brown to bring out the details you'll see me doing a lot 
of that when I'm painting. I literally go in dark, lighten it up a little bit, and then dry brush an even lighter version. It just makes everything pop out. It's a great way to paint. <laughs> You After I added my wash, we can literally call this piece done. Um, unfortunately, idiot face here <laughs> recorded all of the uh, glamour shots in the wrong ratio. And uh, then I went and gave like the book to Sarah for her Christmas present before I actually checked my footage. So <laughs> I can't do all of my glamour shots like I normally would. I do apologize, I'm very sorry. We get glamour photos today at the end of this video. <laughs> I am so sorry. I, it's literally, I've got a brand new camera, so I'm still kind of figuring out how to use it. And I, yeah, I recorded it the wrong way around. 
And when I flip it, it goes very, very pixely, which you'll probably see in some of my pictures at the end as well. So I'm really, really sorry. Um, so yeah, glamour shots instead. <laughs> um so as normal if you liked this video then please do take a minute to subscribe to the channel if you're new um like share do all of that fantastic business and um you know thank you very much guys and i also want to take this moment just to celebrate that uh my channel hit 1000 subscribers like uh, during this video so i just want to say Thank you very much to all you guys. I'm so proud that there are 1,000 people that will actually listen to me ramble. <laughs> so I will catch you later, guys. Thank you and bye.